Well, indeed, some positive sentiments there from Central Bank Governor Dr. Patrick Njeroge. Well, the Alcohol Beverage Association of Kenya has called on the government to carry on with its swoop on businesses that are not tax compliant. Speaking earlier, well, the association condemned the practice of tax evasion, citing this has made the business environment in Kenya uncompetitive. And we call on all the government agencies to really, really help the industry to, you know, to crack down on illicit uh, production of liquor, be it uh, on matters of tax or, or matters of the production of alcohol. Everyone who committed any acts of commission or commission or omission that they are brought to book uh, to sanitize the industry, and we believe this will go a long way in supporting us as manufacturers in terms of driving the Big Four agenda and ensuring that government collects revenue from our industry and safeguards the life of Kenyans. We are committed and we want to operate above board and we want to assure the members of public that are, we are open and we shall submit and we shall cooperate with all agencies of government in whatever they are doing to ensure that uh, the industry is, is cleaned up. Well, ideas can bring people together for the sole purpose of growth. That is exactly what happened to two strangers on this week's episode of Women in Business. Julie Wamboy brings you that captivating story of determination. Take a look. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. This is the journey of Susan Mwoki and Priscilla Njeri. I started working in 2017, around Feb. Uh, I was selling um, track suits, uh, Adidas. By then they were new in the market. I, I was working door to door, selling to people. I started as a hawker. I started by hawking from uh, from the from one door to the other or from one business to the other i was selling nanoven bags and uh, i would sell as little as 10 bags uh, from one shop to the other we decided to partner and have a store so when we got the store we we came up with uh, a way of bringing in stock and then we started selling our own stock. Coming up with what to focus on in business is not only critical but it can help one identify which path or strategy to follow. Normally we look at what is trending it's, uh, mostly on Facebook. You go to Facebook you'll see what people are looking for and then you look at the season, you look at uh, the time. Is it December? Is it January? Yeah, so by the time we met with Susan, it was around August, so September, October, November. From that time, people normally have got some money to spare. So we thought of duvets because they were in high demand because of the weather. There was, it was cold by then. Like any other startup small business, what kept them going was having the right attitude, even as they worked around the clock to grow their business. You have to really work hard. You have to change your timing, your, your waking up timing, because you really have to go to work. No one is working for you at this point. You have to be the boss. You have to take care of your business, otherwise it will go down. For the duo, one of the platforms that has propelled their business is social media marketing. This has been a key plank for the business, not forgetting the challenges that come along. I started from um, with zero likes. So I started sharing the, uh, the page on my personal account. Then people would uh, follow and like the page. So I would, uh, I would post the papers there and then I would get clients from that. I created uh, the Azali and uh, it grew from, from uh, 100 likes to 1,000. And it was, it was amazing. Some of the biggest lessons for them have been building trust among clients in an industry that heavily revolves around it. Customer used to ask about um, location. We are losing a lot of customers because uh, most of 
most of customers they don't believe an online business when you you tell them you, you operate online purely online you lose that client we are losing about 50 percent of our customers because of location so we thought about it and um, yeah we started looking for a stall and we got stall in case you want to venture in this kind of business here are some tips you have to save for the business and you have to keep the business going Although business has been looking up, they confess that it's not easy for every business has its fair share of lessons. You need to know that you're working for yourself and you really have to focus on your clients. You have to focus on your clients, you have to talk to them because keeping a client is not that easy, especially with our uh, type of business because of the competition. You have to market a lot. You have to market your business a lot. You have to talk to people a lot. And the parting shot is? You don't have to be a blind to be successful. You can start somewhere. Just start somewhere. Uh, if you have a phone, a hundred phone, and you have access to internet, go approach someone who has items and take photos, post them on Facebook. You don't have to, to have, you don't have to have the high terms yourself. You you can sell from someone else. Priscilla and Susan came together through the motivation that each one of them had. When you have something that motivates you, don't let it go to waste. Julie Wamboi, KTN Business. <laughs>